Tonight, Elon Musk's Twitter is threatening legal action against Mark Zuckerberg's Meta over its new Threads platform, alleging that the social media giant poached former Twitter employees to create a copycat application. This is Threads has reportedly amassed more than 30 million signups since launching just last night. 30 million signups in less than a day. With more on Threads and the escalating war between Musk and Zuckerberg, which may actually lead to a fight, we're joined by USC <laughs> professor and social media expert Karen North. Karen, great to see you. Great to see you too. What do you think of Threads? I mean, you know, I have my own opinion about it, which basically is that it, it could work. It could become basically the new Instagram um, or Instagram feature much more than the new Twitter because Twitter is usually thought of as a social media app, but what it really is is it's a way for people like you and other communicators to find a heads up or a headline or a story or a quote or a source to discuss news. And this is not that. Threads is all about connecting with your Instagram friends and having conversations on, you know, that are like private conversations outside of Instagram. But could it become that? I mean, is that the goal to eventually drive the news cycle? Because Twitter, even though most sort of regular people aren't on Twitter, almost everybody in the news is. And so what happens on Twitter ends up leading every newscast. It ends up being disseminated in every social media feed. Could threads become that eventually? That's my favorite question about this. You know, how could it? If the only way to log into threads is to log in with your Instagram account, then you're limited only to Instagram users. And if it's all about connecting with your other friends and friends of friends on Instagram, then how does the person walking the streets in Ukraine who just saw something and posted their picture or somebody, you know, um, in, in the Amazon or somebody in a small town in Ohio, how do they post something for people to see if the only way that you can, the, if, if this is really all about connecting with your Instagram friends and all about having an Instagram account. So oh, it really yeah. isn't set up the way that you and I want news to be able to come from anyone to all of you people who curate and, and tell the news stories for us. Although aren't there like a billion Instagram users? Well, so yeah, so here's the thing. There are a billion Instagram users, but they're not representative of all walks of life, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you make of this lawsuit threat? Uh, basically, Elon Musk saying a bunch of former Twitter people are now over at Threads creating a copycat. And is that illegal? Does this lawsuit have any merit? So as I always tell you, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not 100 percent sure on the legal. You know, it's only it's only illegal if there's an actual law against it. Right. So um, but here's the thing. There are two ways to look at this. One is Elon Musk fired a bunch of people and they went and got jobs at a comparable competitor. And the other thing is that legally you can protect things. You know, we hear about like copyright and patent and trademark and something called trade secrets. And Elon Musk is saying that people who knew his trade secrets, which are protected by law, walked over to a competitor and handed off the legally protected information. If that's the case, then he probably does have at least the opportunity to make a claim against Meta. Let's talk about the history of this Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk thing, and just about Mark Zuckerberg himself, because doesn't he kind of have a history of doing this? Uh, you think about on Instagram, they started doing reels, which was basically a knockoff of TikTok. They started doing stories, which was a knockoff of Snapchat. He liked Instagram so much that he bought it. I mean, isn't this sort of <laughs> his play? Either if I can't buy it, I just create the copy of it and try to beat it? Oh my gosh, you've never said anything so true. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> and, but you know, if you think about it, it's so funny, the world that we live in and how fickle we are, that we love to love people and we love to hate people. And right now, Elon Musk is, you know, it's so popular to be annoyed and, you know, upset and frustrated with him that somehow out of the blue, Mark Zuckerberg, who used to be the villain, has now emerged as the trusted elder statesman, you know, but it's for sure he has been a master at looking at features that are popular on other apps and sites and just integrating them into the world that he owns. 
Well, what I hope doesn't happen is that you end up with like all the Republicans on Twitter and all of the liberals on threads and that like there's no place where people can actually see information that is uniform because at some point we need to talk to each other. So Karen North, thank you for your perspective on all this. By the way, you can follow our station on threads <laughs> by searching for Fox for LA. I'm on there as well. I'm sure Karen's on there as well. Uh, Karen North, great to see you. Thanks so much.